Good day all. <clears throat> so I've got these Austrian cavalry finished at uh, cavalry. Australian cannons finished. If you're gonna get it wrong, you might as well get it wrong. Uh, I've had a week off, so I've got these done. So this is the first gun. I'm not sure what size it is, I can't remember. And I've thrown the blister packet away that said, but I'm sure somebody out there will know. So this one's firing. And then this one is loading. So at the minute I have a, um, what have I got? A three gun battery, that's what I've got. Two guns, one howitzer. Use Luke's APS basin, the arid earth one, uh, and then I just put a load of tufts down on top of that. I'll do a little flyby in a moment. You can have a look, but I'm going to put the other guns with it. In the background, you will see some land snakes. I'll get to them in a minute. So, two guns. Alright sir, so excuse me, shake your hand, I'll do a flyby. So that is my Austrian gun battery. Uh, I would like to add one more cannon to it I think. So I can have a four gun battery. These, I'll spin it around. Oops. So you can see it from the other angle. So I've got a few more Austrians to paint, not many, uh, and I will have run out. Uh, and when I've got them done, I'm kind of just waiting for all this business to be over <clears throat> so that I can order the Perry's Austrian Cavalry. I'll put this back on a tripod. So, that's it. <clears throat> right, uh, I just want to touch on something that Ralph Astley uh, mentioned in one of his videos, and I, I totally agree with him. Um, I've been block painting these lounge necks and he was saying he doesn't like to show his painting when it's halfway through because it just looks terrible and I must admit I'm, I'm kind of feeling that with these. Um, I've got to this stage and, and I'm looking at them thinking these are never ever going to look good. Um, so I might do a little before and after video. Um, just so you can see the difference because I know sometimes especially when you're starting out and you're painting you might think oh no I'm, I can't do anything with these <clears throat> um, I just want to show you how, how bad these look right now this is before I put any washes or anything or any highlights I've just block colored and you can see they do look pretty terrible <laughs> um, but don't be disheartened because they will look terrible at this stage <clears throat> until you put some wash on. Um, I mean, it's not, it's a different way of painting from painting from black undercoat. If you're painting black undercoat, then you have to be a lot more careful and leave your black lines and, and do all your coats. But because I'm putting an ink on this, it's going to darken them right down. That will give me my shading straight away um, and all my black lines and it will look instantly better. So yeah, I just wanted to say, um, I, I do agree with Ralph, I don't like to show work at that kind of stage. Um, but yeah, just don't be disheartened when they look this bad, because they will get better. They will get better, we'll just put some income. Anyway, Austrians, <clears throat> that's what the video is supposed to be about. Um, I joined in the paint and chat again today. Um, I spoke to Paul. It's his wedding anniversary actually, 21 years married uh, today, so it will be tomorrow maybe when you watch this video. I mean yesterday, not tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, he's doing really well. Um, and you know, thanks to all of you guys that are doing videos for him. Thanks to VK and um, British Legion for thinking of these in it. 
Uh, or, or, you know, I was thinking of doing these, but you, you know what I mean. I'm waffling now, aren't I? <clears throat> uh, yeah, so anyway, I was talking about the painting chat. Um, Paul Richardson dropped on there. Uh, if you do get a chance, please come and join in. Um, you could join in and talk to us all. There's a few of us go on there. Uh, different people at different times. Um, it's well worth it. They've got, some of the guys on there, like Paul and Curtis, have got just such a wealth of knowledge about wargaming, way, way beyond anything I, I, I know. Uh, so if you want to learn some new stuff, or just want to have a chat and a hangout, and we, I mean, we don't just talk about hobbies, we talk about all sorts of rubbish. <laughs> so just feel free to come and join in. Anyway, I'll put some stills of these guns on at the end. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Thank you.